Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video here on my channel. And today for this video it will be something completely different because recently I've got some pretty amazing news that, I mean, I don't even know, it's just astonishing. I mean, I got a bit lucky, but yeah, so the news is that it seems that I found a completely undiscovered meteorite crater. A possible meteorite crater is not confirmed yet, of course. The sam samples have to be found and everything. <clears throat> and it is in Yemen, as you can see here. So I wanted to make a video about it, how I discovered it, how that happened and to explain the stuff around it and everything to showcase it, this discovery. So we are gonna start, of course, from the very beginning of how I did find this and this story I mean, it's a very luck-based story, but yeah, I mean, of course, it's amazing that it happened that way as well. And it's really interesting. So, how I did find it, here is the clip from my stream. When was it? It was like last year or something. <clears throat> I don't remember that I played a satellite guesser on the Unity script made by Drupa. There is some map world cities with at least, I don't know, how many pop populations, how many people. And we got the location here in Atak, Yemen. <clears throat> and now you can see what what's going to happen next. But you can still guess with us. You can look at my look to the look right. At my screen. I spotted it Wait, immediately. Is this? This looks like a meteorite crater. It just has exactly the the right look for it. So, but from satellite guesser, I got dropped here, and right next to it, I see this completely circular depression in uh, in the mountains of this area and it just looks exactly like a meteorite crater like when you look at it that's exactly exactly how meteorite crater looks there is a depression and there is like a thing around it there is a ring which is like elevated from the middle here it is on google satellite view as well we can see it better here. <clears throat> we can tilt it. They built like a mosque in the middle of it. There is like a small village here or something. I don't know what that village is called, unfortunately, but it lies in a meteorite crater. <clears throat> Imagine you've been living here all your life and then you discover, dude, I've been living in a meteorite crater all my life and I had no idea. What an amazing discovery it would have been, indeed. A very amazing discovery. So, yeah, I mean, you can see it from space, as you can say. It just looks like it. I don't know if there is, like, even a bigger area of around it, but the walls of the crater are here, so I don't think this whole thing can also be... I don't know, there is, like, a, some circle oval shape here as well but yeah th this is the actual thing <clears throat> and what I did from here from this clip that we played some of us in the satellite view with the uh, bullseye is I took first to the reddits 
to ask people, possible undiscovered meteor crater near Atak, Yemen. <laughs> yeah, you can see you can see what people thought here. Sounds place that sounds like an attack. I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, Yemen is in a big civil war right now, so <clears throat> the the actual research, the actual taking of the samples is not possible. You're gonna see about that later. Uh, so. Yeah, this person here told me about nearby craters. I also did um, Google on whether there is a crater right there that's already discovered and I couldn't find anything. And from this Vasita crater, okay, here is another Reddit on the geology Reddit. People were not that uh, convinced that it's a meteorite crater. It doesn't look like a crater. So yeah, I got pretty mixed reviews here. <clears throat> he said it could be salt dome, it could be uh, volcanic, but yeah, the, I looked and the area itself is not volcanic, there are nearby volcanic areas. So from this Vasita crater, I discovered um, a research paper by the scientist whose name is Sharaf Shabu. I think that's how it's pronounced. Here it is. <clears throat> this is this is the, the email where I contacted him, but he did um, the publication on meteor craters in the Arab world on his um, on on research gate and that's how I found him exactly. So I thought he would be the right person to contact about it. And so I did that. I wrote him an email and I got back this thing, which is why I made this video. I got the... There's been quite a lot of times since I discovered the crater and I, I sent the, the email and I had the email waiting in drafts. They didn't send it, but now I did. And yeah, so he said, Dear Mr. Alok, thank you for your email. Indeed, this structure looks like an impact structure. According to my knowledge, it was not reported so far. It will jo join the other promising impact structures of this area. Vasita Tamud Salab. Those are some of those people already mentioned. There is nothing more that can be said about this structure without field investigation. Unfortunately, this sector located in Yemen is currently experiencing a civil war. So the field so field work is impossible in this area. Anyway, it's well seen. Thanks. Best regards, Shara. And that's it. When I got back this email, I said, oh my God, like, is this possible? That I looked before, like those science shows on, I don't know, those TV channels and YouTube and wherever, well, pe where people were doing like, how is it called, like civil geography or something like that, where they were finding stuff from Google Maps satellite view, stuff like impact craters and other things. And it quite intrigued me, to be honest. And I did, even before this, I was searching and finding some similar stuff. <clears throat> which I'm, I'm not going to talk about that in this video. But th this this discovery here was completely accidental. As you can, I don't know if who would have discovered this crater otherwise. Maybe someone would if they looked right here. But this was like such, such an extreme amount of luck that I got pinned down in Atak Yemen on this satellite view map and I saw this crater right there sitting. It was waiting for me to discover it there. <clears throat> so yeah, it was just, I don't know, complete luck. And I just like that I, such an amazing feeling that I did 
what I've been watching on YouTube and TV channels that I also did discover a meteorite crater on Google Maps satellite view. I mean, I don't know, for me this is a big discovery. For the, like, I don't know when will it be. So there is a civil war right now in Yemen, so it can't be confirmed right now. <clears throat> when will that happen? I have no idea. Or if it will happen at all, but yeah, I mean, finding meteor craters isn't that much of a, a priority in the world at the moment or, in, or at any moment. And this is quite a remote area. So yeah, we're gonna see about that, but if it gets confirmed, that will be like even more, like, of course, amazing. And uh, <clears throat> I can then say with complete certain certainty that I discovered a meteorite crater on the planet <laughs> in Yemen. But yeah, of course, it can be done with without the scientists doing the work themselves. I have no idea who will be the person who will be going and taking the samples, whether this will be Sharaf himself or someone else. <clears throat> of course, without them, it would be impossible to confirm. But yeah, I did the first step. I discovered the area and um, that it's there and it's just gonna <clears throat> stick with me as something amazing that I did but yeah I don't know if it will be like somewhere noted who discovered the crater or something but okay so, that's basically it, what I wanted to show you here. In today's video, I went through all of it, showed you how I got there, show you the crater, and yeah, really great, amazing stuff. But yeah, I think We'll be ending this video here. I'm gonna link you in the description the crater location on Google Maps itself as well as the research paper which I didn't put right here in the video but I'm gonna link it as well in the video description. The research paper of the, um, the meteor craters in the Arab world by Sharaf Shabu, so you can look at that as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys then next time. But until then, stay good and bye bye.